Hey, this is Jay Pavlina, uh, the writer and director of this, and then I'm also in it, uh, one of the main characters in it. It's called Problem 27, and this was a this was an assignment for my calculus class. I'm pretty sure I was in my senior year of high school, so by now I kind of like I had a pretty good camera and my like filmmaking skills were starting to get pretty good and a lot of my movies were school assignments because like <clears throat> whenever the teacher gave us a project and like one of the options was to do a video I would always do a video and then uh, the other guy in this video Josh he was one of my best friends in high school and he was like super smart at math and I have to tell you the truth calculus is like really hard I'm pretty good at math, but not at calculus, because calculus is a bit weird to me. It's like, to me, it's like not even math. It deals with like theories, like theoretical stuff, like if X were to approach this to infinity or whatever, then what would happen? It's like really confusing, really weird. That's just my interpretation of calculus. I'm not sure why I'm talking about it on a video commentary. But anyway, uh, yeah, I guess that's enough background. Oh, and another requirement of our assignment was it had to do with something called a widget. <laughs> I'll tell you about it when it comes up in the video, but it's kind of a weird... We had kind of a silly teacher, which is always a good thing. This music, I'm sure someone recognized it. I forgot what it's from but it fits well. Oh, and we called the movie Problem 27 just because we randomly... I mean, none of our... I didn't really write scripts. We would just improvise everything. See, we talk about number 27 right there. So then we mentioned number 27 multiple times in the movie. <laughs> so we decided to call it Problem 27. It was just by coincidence. So it was pretty funny sometimes. <laughs> I love that. And it keeps getting like worse yeah. each time. <laughs> uh, and then I don't really know what to say right there. Obviously, I was just waiting for the run. <laughs> and then he runs into Andrew. Andrew is another of my best friends. I don't know. We just thought it'd be funny if he runs into the women's bathroom. That sound he just made right there it wasn't added in or anything. I always try to do everything on the spot just because it's easier than editing. That's a calculus joke. It totally doesn't make any sense what I just said. Probably just because I didn't understand calculus. So maybe I was really trying to explain it. And he was nice and he let us, like, he left his door open so we could film in his office. This was done after school. I was a little disappointed in the, in the cameraman here because... I was under the impression that he was zooming in on this note because there's so many jokes written on that note. Like if you look at it, it's so funny, but he wasn't even zooming in. He like left the shot kind of wide. And like if you're directing and you're acting, you can't really see exactly what the shot is unless you have an external monitor. But obviously we don't, we didn't have a lot of money or anything. And this was just done really simply like a school assignment. So. <laughs> These jokes are pretty good, though. See, there I, I was able to get a zoomed-in shot for that, at least. It's like, the jokes here are so stupid and so obvious. Like, the angle that he wrote the H's is the reason that we find him. Instead of because he actually wrote his in the basement. I just love stuff that's, like, absolutely ridiculous and doesn't make any sense. That's why I like making movies, because you make them different than real life. I don't like to make realistic movies. This music is from Fight Club. That movie's awesome. It has some cool music, too. Uh, which way should we go? Uh, should we follow the guy with the cape? Uh, no, it's probably upstairs. <laughs> That's okay. so okay. funny. The way that he, like, waves his arms as he's running down, and then we think the basement is upstairs. We were... Another, like, complaint I have with the cameraman here is that you could tell that we're not sitting. Because those toilets are nasty, you don't want to sit on them. So, 
just the, you know, sometimes things don't turn out just the way you want, but it's still good enough that it's funny, so. This was just a little, like, silly section, kind of like old Charlie Chaplin movies or something. And then we just start, like, performing for some reason. This is my favorite part. Like, Josh runs out, <laughs> and then I just appear and help him, and then I leave. <laughs> So funny. Then he's like, what are you doing? He's like, come on. It's awesome. It's funny. This this line right here was actually added in in post-production. Because I think I think we originally said there he is, and it wasn't obvious that he was the kidnapper, so we just changed it. This music from the Matrix Reloaded. Uh, it's so over the top that it's perfect. I love this part. This is one of my favorite sequences I've done. Because <laughs> like the villain is like throwing math problems. It's like a fight, but they're not actually fighting. Instead, they're solving his problems. <laughs> and that's a calculus joke, because you have to write plus C after fucking everything. It's retarded. And if you don't, then the teacher would still accept it, but he'd like write a note. You'll see in the outtakes that he couldn't figure out how to say that. It's so funny. More calculus jokes. And like always simplify everything. I think I was just making fun of him because I hated calculus. <laughs> and he's like frustrated that we keep solving it. It's so funny. <laughs> I love this part. It's like, ah, oh, oh, I can't go on. It's perfect. And then like, I don't, I don't want to leave my calculus book. It's so funny. This shot I did because I wanted to be extra smooth. Good luck with this one. I want it to be really like dramatic. And I like what are you? It's a Max Minward problem. Oh. These uh, the Max Minward problems were the hardest problems. They were so fucking annoying. So that's where we're like he's insane. He's like evil. See, these are the stupid problems you have to solve with calculus. Find dimensions of each pen to maximize the area. So dumb. And I'm just sitting there like... Okay, you got the answer right here. Right, oh, and he wasn't really like laughing that long. I just edited it to make it look like he was laughing the whole time, just to make it funnier. It's good to like play around with stuff like that, add in some extra comedy. I don't know why we always wanted to get juice. <laughs> that was like his thing. More weird calculus. See, I told you, we had to mention a widget in our video. And it had something to do with a toilet. I don't really know why. We had... never took calculus. It was just a weird assignment. And Josh, Josh did all the math, so I didn't have to do any of it. The deal was I did the video and he did the math because he was smart. This music is actually from uh, a song that I played in band. It's not our actual band performing it, but sometimes I would get. Uh, I would hear music that we play in band and I would like it and I'd use it for movies. It's just another, another little joke. Oh, this is so funny because Andrew wasn't in calculus, so he had no idea what we were talking about. So he couldn't figure, he couldn't say implicit differentiation. <laughs> like. Like, no matter what he could do, he just couldn't say it. Because it was, like, so foreign to him, like... <laughs> and we always had a lot of fun. Because we were, we were all really good friends, and we were just goofing around. We made a lot of movies together. Andrew was probably who I made the most movies with. And Josh I had been making movies with for a long time. We were all kind of, like, best friends. So man, that's like, I love that movie. It brings back so many good memories and, you know, it's just a really laid back film because it was just a class assignment and none of it, none of it was like written or anything. I just kind of like, you know, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do, but a lot of times I just make up stuff on the spot or like, you know, we all just like talk about what we think would be funny. So... That's kind of like how I like to make movies, where it's just, it's like really organic. Like, it's nice to plan stuff out and have structure, but when you're actually there and you're doing it, 
you can usually come up with stuff that's like funnier than you originally imagined. So that's kind of the way I like to make movies. It's like I like to have like funny people I'm working with and then you know, when we're all together you can come up with some pretty funny stuff and then you know, when you go back and edit it you can like even make it a little bit more funny. So <clears throat> yeah, that's really I love that movie. Good good times. And I really like the the calculus fight scene at the end. That's one of my favorite like sequences I've done in one of my movies. It's just like and the the music we use is so appropriate. It kinda sucks that you know, copyrighted music is like not good to use, but I didn't really know that back then. I was just kinda like doing whatever I wanted, but now I know that you shouldn't use someone else's music. So now when I do stuff, I have like music composers and stuff. But yeah, that was a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it was really fun to make. Hope hope that like, I always hope that the fun that we had making the movies, I hope it shines through like to when you're watching it, you can like have fun watching it too. All right, thanks. Thanks for listening and for watching.